Hey y'all, my name is Paul Bowers, and in this video I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks for responding to public record requests under the South Carolina Freedom of Information Act. Now I'm specifically dedicating this tutorial to the South Carolina Department of Education, which gave me the inspiration to do this. I'm a parent and a friend of a lot of public school teachers, and earlier this month I got curious as to why State Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman had jumped on the bandwagon denouncing critical race theory, uh, which is an obscure grad school level discipline that a lot of conservatives have been brothing at the mouth about. So as a former news reporter, I knew that the emails of state employees are a matter of public record. So I sent in a freedom of information request for the following. All emails sent or received by Education Superintendent Molly Spearman, Ryan Brown, or employees working in the state superintendent's office from January 1st through January 12th, 2021 containing the phrase critical race theory, or the acronym CRT. Because this information is requested in the public interest, I ask that all fees be waived. Now, to my surprise, uh, y'all got back to me with this invoice, which uh, said that you wanted 616 US dollars for those documents and that, no, you did not think my request was in the public interest. Now, on this invoice, you claim that it would take two state employees working eight hours each, an entire working day, to complete the search and redact personally identifiable information from it. Sorry, that's my cat. Um, <laughs> but that's why I wanted to talk, that's why I wanted to help you out today. Um, if it takes you 16 man hours to run a simple email search uh, and run a Sharpie over some documents, you need to work smarter, not harder. So I'm gonna get my cat out of the way. Say, hey kitty. I'm gonna start my stopwatch on my phone. Go. And I'll show you how one person can complete, export, and redact an email search in under eight hours. Let's go. So to get started, I'm going to do an advanced search. Now, uh, I'm just using Gmail because that's all I have access to at home here. Um, but uh, you probably have something a little nicer to use at your office. So uh, Gmail, like a lot of email clients, supports Boolean searches where you can enter multiple search terms. So I'm going to search for critical race theory or CRT. Uh, on the search, it has searched my entire inbox. Now I want to narrow it down here. So the request was 21, starting on January 1st through July 12th. And that filter, and there you go. That narrows it down to 30 emails in my inbox. Uh, now I'm gonna select all. And I have a tool here that just exports all these into a PDF document. Okay. So while that's running in the background, I wanted to go over something that you actually have at your disposal that I don't. Uh, this is a tool called GovQA. This is what you're using to fill uh, records requests. Uh, I looked at it online. It's pretty cool. It seems like it's going to save you a lot of time and uh, a lot of money for the public. So uh, this is a record management system. It's uh, it's a front end where I submit my requests, and it's the interface you use to send documents out to the public. Um, according to their documents, uh, it saves a lot of time. Custom views, dashboards, and powerful search capabilities help you locate any request in seconds. Pretty cool. Um, you've also got some redaction tools here. So uh, unlike me, you're not going to have to print it out and Sharpie over it. Uh, you've got a, a pretty quick way to, uh, to redact, and then you can just send a PDF on. But uh, looks like I've got my PDF here. All right, I'm gonna print it off and then I'll get to redacting. See you on the other side. Come on, printer. Okay, and we're back. Got my emails, got my marker. Let's get redacting.
Okay, so that's it. Got them searched, exported, printed, redacted. Let's check the uh, stopwatch here, see how it did. All right, so we are at 14 minutes, 30 seconds, roughly. So, um, feel pretty good about that time. I didn't have a lot of Kind of tools at my disposal but uh, I think uh, with a few tips like that you know doing advanced searches using the tools that you do have uh, I think you could save yourselves a lot of time uh, make your lives a lot easier so until next time uh, I'm Paul Bowers thanks for listening have a good one